Hello and welcome to Hakista TV. And a month ago, using my computer, the One X Player Mini, suddenly I noticed that the screen here popped out. And when I opened it, I noticed that the battery had already swollen. Now, it is a simple fix, but the problem is, being here in the Philippines, it is very hard to get a replacement battery online because our law about lithium iron batteries is really really strict luckily i found one on aliexpress but for anyone who had ordered with them know that shipping takes a very long time and that's the main reason why i decided to upgrade my computer to a gpd win 4 and as a hacker here are the features on why i chose it first is the form factor and there's a reason why i still stick to my one netbook 2s whenever i need a computer outside because as you can see it is much more smaller than the one x player mini at least when it is small it is less noticeable in public in theory because just look at how unique this red color mini laptop is and it is really beautiful and most of the time when I use it in public people will approach me and ask me about it but with the win 4 GPD win 4 it is close to this size as you can see here it is close to the size of my one netbook and with its form factor people will just assume that i am playing game and never really bother me the next is the human interface device and obviously the main selling point if you want a gpd win 4 is its hidden keyboard under the screen see how beautiful that is but aside from that it does have this nifty little touchpad that you can use as a mouse and a fingerprint reader here that you can use for Windows Hello. And that is one of the main problem if you are using a One X Mini, One X Player Mini outside because you need to bring the peripherals that are needed like the mouse and the keyboard when you are trying to use it. And that's the reason why also I still use this before I bought this because it does have a built-in keyboard, touchpad, and a fingerprint reader. And you know what? The keyboard for this isn't really bad. This one you need to get a little used to because it is really small and cramped. But on the GPT Win 4, the keyboard works like a mobile like a keyboard that you have on screen on a mobile device and that tactile feeling when you click it is really really helpful and the next one is usb 4 having usb 4 means that you can use eGPU now one x player mini would have an eGPU support on thunderbolt 3 but the main problem is eGPU on thunderbolt 3 is a little unstable still there will be times that you need to restart the eGPU multiple times just for it to be detected unlike on a usb4 and an added bonus is that the performance goes up around 7 to 10 percent now for all of you who are thinking how good a an eGPU performance is as you can see here it does show that using an eGPU my RX 6600 XT would still be around the 64 percentile using user benchmark and lastly, the upgraded specs. The One Netbook 2S uses an M3 processor 
with an 8GB of RAM and 512 storage. Now, the M3 processor is much more closer to the Intel Atom line rather than their i-series. The One X Player Mini, on the other hand, uses an Intel i7 mobile processor, 10th gen. It has 16GB of RAM and a 512GB storage. And the GPD Win 4 is far more superior, having a Ryzen 7 6800, 32 gigs of RAM, and 2TB of storage. But it is important to know that when I bought all of this, it they are on the same price, which is around a thousand dollars. This one what you call it? This one netbook cost around thousand dollars around six to five years ago. This one I just recently bought last year, around a thousand dollars too. And this one is also around a thousand dollars. As you can see, how much evolution the ultra mobile PC nowadays ha um, have come. So if you are a hacker and you are on the fence on what computer to buy, I suggest the GPD Win 4. With the form factor, it will be really, really discreet as if you're just playing in public. You wouldn't need to bring a mouse because you have the touchpad, the keyboard is already here, and Windows Hello just works when you are trying to sign into the system. And when you get back at home, all you need to do is just dock it use a external dock like this or the eGPU and now you have a full desktop experience comparable to the most modern desktops that we have today and with the specs that it gives those specs are the things that you can see on laptops that cost 200 to 500 dollars more and of course as a parting note if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.